Okay, hey y'all, it's Deanna. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you're doing well. Today is Thursday, February the 1st, and this is editing Deanna because the video that I recorded yesterday on January 31st is missing the first couple of minutes. I don't know what happened to it, and I'm trying to get it um, uploaded for February the 2nd in the morning. But anyway, the video is about a giveaway, and I'll put a little notation in the video. Um, but uh, it's just missing the first couple of minutes. I won a bunch of seeds from Heavenly Hills Homestead when he was on a live stream with Kettle Kitchen. So uh, Ryan, I do know his name. He's with Heavenly Hills Homestead, and I can't for the life of me remember the name of the man that is on Kettle Kitchen. I'll have to look. But uh, that's what this video is about. Me showing you all the seeds that I won. I won't have pictures because they're his own um, seeds. And I, I don't want to put his pictures up and get in trouble for it. So just in case. Just in case. Because I don't know. But anyway, the uh, first bean I did notice in the video that's left that the uh, beans that I was talking about, I had, didn't hold them up in that part of the video. I held them up in the part of the video that's missing. So it's uh, Jacob's cattle bush beans. Okay, and that's where I'll end this because um, that's where the next, the rest of the video starts. All right, now, bye. Anyway, um, I don't know if they're more preferred as a dry bean or if um, you can cook them like any other bean, like take them out of the pot and then cook them and they won't take as long as a dry bean. I don't know. Um, I'll have to look it up because I haven't ever grown anything that would be a dry bean. I've grown green beans, sweet peas. I know sweet peas aren't a bean, but whatever. Um, so I don't know. And then um, he sent some early white Vienna, I don't know if it's going to focus, kohlrabi, and that's what that is. Um, it's an old variety, it says it's about the same as the purple, except it's mild and tasty. So I guess the purple may be stronger. I've grown kohlrabi, and I only tried it raw. I'm going to have to grow some and maybe see what it tastes like roasted. I wasn't a real big fan, needless to say. <laughs> if you could tell by my face. I'm going to have to try it uh, roasted and not raw. And some lemon balm. Those were the ones that came from Baker Creek. I mean, they came from him, but they're Baker Creek seeds. So, let me see. Oh, here's a card. And he does sell seeds. And there's a uh, coupon, code, coupon code on here. But he sell, I believe he sells his giant seeds. And let me tell you, they're pretty giant. Um, this is a bell pepper. West Virginia State Record bell pepper. And the one that won was one pound, 1.1 1 .1 ounce. And record for length was 6.5 inches long. That's pretty good size bell pepper, y'all. I'm going to try that one. I mean, I'm not going to... I don't expect to make, like, grow award-winning um, peppers or anything. But I, it'd be pretty cool if I got some bigger bell peppers than, we normal, than you normally get. West Virginia State Record Sunflower Height, 16 foot, one and a half inches. There's the bag, and there's the seeds. I don't know what the what type of sunflower it is, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Let's see. I know some of these are going to be repeats. West Virginia State Record Banana Squash. I don't know what a banana squash is. I haven't looked it up, but I'll have to find it on here. Um, 
And if I can find the pictures of the ones that he grew, I'll try and put them on, but I don't want to get in trouble for doing that either. I can look up banana squash though and um, put a picture of banana squash. And it was 10 pounds, 5.5 ounces. And it came from a Baker Creek seed. Looks like he crossed it with a Baker, Baker Creek seed and self. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, look at that. That's a big old squash seed. Um, this says 739 cook, whatever that means. That must be what he's calling it or labeling it as. It was a cross with a 2350 Geyinger and an 1883 Bayuk, B-A-Y-U-K. I'll put the name on the screen if I remember to do it. And it produces a very orange pumpkin. Oh, am I getting that in the screen, Deanna? I mean, look at the size of that. Do I have anything to compare that with? Here, we'll use a Sharpie. This is just a regular size Sharpie. And that's the size of that pumpkin seed. And this is 717 7, Cook. It looks like it's a cross of a 1533 REEB and a 1016 Cook HD. What is HD? Heavy duty? I don't know. And it says 4.5% heavy. I don't know what that means. And I don't know if that's a watermelon or pumpkin it's probably a pumpkin i think most of his things are pumpkin but look um 665 cook hd it's an it's a cross between 1883 by yuck b-a-y-u-k and a 2350 geyinger g-i-e-n-g-e-r second place prettiest pumpkin in the world of 2022 and I had never seen pumpkin seeds this big y'all never 947 cook is what this one's labeled and it's a cross with a Bayek and a Geyinger produces very orange round pumpkins And I'm not trying to grow giants. I mean, it would be cool to get a big, big pumpkin if I can manage to keep them alive and keep the vine borer away from it. Um, 725 Cook D-N-G-U-O-W. That's his label. 965 McDonald crossed with a 1,000.5 brown, whatever that means. 13% heavy. It's a green squash. So he does other things besides pumpkins. Like, look at that. That's, that's huge. Uh, West Virginia state record field pumpkin. It weighed 89.5 pounds, 1.5 ounces. It was a, it looks like it was a cross with a 94 REEB and self. I don't, I don't know what that means, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know. He knows what it means, but I don't. A 947 cook produces very orange round pumpkins. I may have shown this one already. Because there's a couple in here that are the same. Um, West Virginia State Record Runner Bean. 19.75 inches long cook whatever cook means that's a big old bean this one is giant tomatoes now I can get on board with some of that 3.3 pounds uh, I don't know what this means 7.56 how Joe Levette and self by self cross with self can y'all see it I don't know if it's gonna focus 
I don't know if it's going to focus. And I can't see because I'm blind if even. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm not the best at making some of these videos. This one's a re West Virginia state record for long gourd. Eight foot eight and 75 and 0.75 inches. Eight. Eight foot eight point eight and three quarter inches. Is that anyway? Look at that one. And also a West Virginia state record eggplant. Four point four pounds seven point two ounces. Those don't look any bigger, but I guess they don't have to. The seeds don't have to be like super sized. And a 1009 Cook HD, excuse me, which is 665 Cook HD crossed with 1016 Cook HD. I don't know. 2023 is prettiest pumpkin in the world. You have to look him up. His name is, uh, look up his channel, Ryan. Um, I can't read his last name. Cook. Ryan Cook. That's what where Cook comes from, y'all. That's his last name. And 825 Cook, which is 958 Cook HD crossed with 665 HD. 22% heavy. Formal, former NFL player Chris Long floated. I don't know what that means at all. And there we go. So, I don't know which ones I'm going to plant. I'll probably try the gourd and the bell peppers and the tomatoes. And one of the pumpkins. One or two of the pumpkins. I got a place out there that I can try. It's in ground, but I can try. We'll see. And the sunflowers, because pollinators like sunflowers. So, okay, y'all, that is all for that one. Um, I hope you're doing well. What is today? Did I say it in this at the beginning? It's a Wednesday. It's the 31st of January. February's already here. It'll be here tomorrow already. We just ended Christmas and New Year's, like yesterday. Yeah, time flies when you get old. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. All right, y'all, like, subscribe, and share. And have a good one. Bye now. Oh, and I'll link his channel and Kettle Kitchen, the, the other one that was on that uh, giveaway. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye now.